So I'm going to introduce you to the compass. The compass is a key part of your navigation toolkit when it comes to your Duke of Edinburgh's expeditioning. It helps you find your way around the hill. It helps you find the direction of travel that you're going in. We'll get a lot more navigation, a lot more compass work uh, when we're on the expedition. And so don't worry too much about using it um, before you get on the hill. It makes a lot more sense once we're journeying. But this introduction is just meant to give you an idea about how the compass is set up. Don't carry your compass near a mobile phone. It can uh, stop the compass from working. So make sure that your compass is kept when you're at home storing it, for example, keep it away from electronic equipment. A good compass, and this one is a very good compass, a silver four, has a long base plate with lots of information on that base plate. It should have a nice long lanyard. I put mine on a bit of uh, elastic so that I can hook it onto my belt and be able to hold it in the correct position. The correct position is in line with your belly button. So it shouldn't be held to the side like this. It just gives you the wrong direction. It should be held in front of you. Inside the, uh, the centre here, this bevel moves around, this little bit here, this circle. There's some lines and then there's a needle which moves around. The red bit of this needle is called Fred and you'll talk, hear us talking about Fred. It's just uh, Fred really likes pointing north. So he will always point north. You see he's pointing that way, well that's north. And that's a really helpful bit of information. If on my map I know that we are going in a southerly direction, and we know that, we've looked at the map, then all we would do is turn the bevel round so that the letter S is at the top. We'd hold the compass in our hands and then we'd move our feet, not the compass. So move your feet round until Red Fred is in his bed. And his bed is this here, this arrow on the base plate. So I can move my feet round and get Red Fred in his bed. Because the letter S is at the top, I know that's south, and the direction of travel tells me that that's the direction we're going in. At bronze, that's really what we're looking at. For you to be able to look at the map and decide, because the way the map is built, we know that the top bit is north and the bottom bit is south, and east and west you can work out. If my route is heading south, then I should be able to get my compass out put the letter S at the top and move my feet, not my compass round, holding it in this position. I know that the direction of travel is the arrow that's on the base plate. Later on, we'll look at how to use the compass to take bearings on different route markers. Thank you.